is probably a way of life. Um, the only thing I think that comes before hurling uh, down there would be serious illness or bereavement. I think that like things like marriages and births and honeymoons and all that go out the window when it comes to hurling in, in, in our parish anyway. And uh, you grow up with that and it becomes a huge important part of your life and um, it's, it's, it's the be all and end all down there. It's the club thing and the county thing and on from that. So yeah, it's a huge, huge, huge part of my life. It's a uniquely Irish game. I know down down in the sports shop there in NSA, there's a lot of you know foreigners coming in and they're fascinated with the game. And um, we'd often have an old video playing of hurling on the screen, and you'd be able to show them what the hurling and the way it's used properly. And they're fascinated with it, and it's it's unique. I think it's I've often described it to the American lads as a more savage version of. Uh, lacrosse and field hockey put together and um, it's a unique game it's a unique unique set of skills and um, just I suppose very proud to be part of it and the, the unique Irish thing that it is the brands go hand in hand now uh, Orling and Guinness and there's no, no big issue there I think you know uh, obviously you know everything in moderation and uh, it's 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 too, it's great it's it's great for Orling good for Guinness